So welcome, everybody. We're going to be uh, visualizing today that we are preparing for a performance. So a lot of times people get nervous for performances. Um, so we're trying to uh, find some exercises that will actually help center us, keep us grounded. So we're going to start in a, in a standing position. We'll pretend we're in the green room. We're ready to go out for our big performance. And what do you do 15 minutes before you go on stage? So these are the, the kind of um, choices that we're going to make working with our breath. We'll work with um, some upper body stretches and we'll do some uh, warrior postures to help keep us grounded. So I'd like to start today um, by finding our mountain position. So bringing your feet hip width apart, toes pointing parallel. And let's lift the toes, spread them nice and wide from the pinky toe to the big toe. Start to feel grounded and rooted with the feet beneath you. And just relax the grip of the toes and shift your weight forward and back slightly, side to side. And see if you can find that center point where you feel perfectly still, nice and grounded. And then keep a slight bend in the knees. We're going to tuck the tailbone under just slightly, making a nice flat pelvis. Draw the shoulder blades back and down. So just loosen up the shoulders. Release them down and back. And then lift from the crown of the head. The chin becomes parallel. So we'll start with a brief centering meditation. So I invite you either to close the eyes or have a soft gaze in front of you. Just bring your attention to the present moment. And begin by noticing the sounds around you. Allowing your ear to jump from sound to sound. And releasing these sounds, bringing your attention to the body standing on the floor. Notice the point of contact with the floor beneath you. And then I invite you to bring your attention inside to the breath. Notice the breath just as it is without trying to change it. Notice the quality of the breath if it's long or short, deep or shallow. And they begin to expand the breath, coming into our full yogic breath, the three-part dirga breath. So the next time that you exhale, simply draw the muscles of the abdomen in and up towards the spine, releasing all of the stale air in the body, and then relaxing these muscles, allowing the air to fill up belly, rib cage, all the way up to the collarbone. So start to feel the expansion of the breath through the whole rib cage area, expanding in the front, the back, and the sides of the body. Imagining this rib cage area like a balloon, expanding in all directions. And on your next exhale, simply release the chin towards the chest, opening up the back of the neck. And breathing into this space, each exhale is an opportunity to release, relax, and let go of any tension that may be found there. And then inhale the head back to center and draw the right ear to the right shoulder, opening up the left side of the neck. Take a breath in here, relax, and let go. Inhale the head back to center and exhale left ear to left shoulder. Inhale the head back to center and then we'll start to come into some head circles. So take a breath in as you exhale, release the chin to the chest. Inhale right ear to right shoulder, being gentle as the neck goes back and around. Just coordinating the breath now with the movement. Listening to any si sounds or sensation that the neck is making. And reverse the circles. And finding your way back to center. Let's draw the shoulders up to the ears. 
exhale them, draw them all the way back, down towards the ground, and then round the back of the body so the shoulders come forward. So nice big uh, shoulder circles here. Remembering to always keep that breath flowing as you move throughout the exercises. And let the breath be the focus. Keeping that nice, deep, dirga breath moving. And reverse the direction of the circles. Good. And let's draw the right hand forward. So resting the palm away from you, draw the fingertips back. And notice here what's happening with the shoulders. If the shoulders feels like they're, they're tense, actually squeeze the shoulder all the way up to the ear and then just relax, let it go. Good, reverse. Take a nice stretch to the upper part of the arm and keeping the breath flowing. Good, and just shake that wrist out. Let's try the left hand, pressing it forward, drawing the fingertips back. Again, try the little squeeze of the shoulder and exhale, release it, let it go. Good. Draw the fingertips down, releasing the back. Good, and then we'll just shake that out. Shake the arms. <coughs> And then drawing one finger at a time towards the center of the palm, just stretching the hands out. A lot of times you as musicians know there's a lot of upper body issues. <laughs> Trying to stretch, release, let go of some of the tension here. Good. And then circle the wrists. Reverse the direction. And circle from the elbow. And reverse the direction. Good. Circle the shoulders. Shake it all out. Good. Take your right hand, draw it across, and draw the arm in. So you should start to feel a stretch between the shoulder blades here. Relax the shoulder as much as possible as you stretch that arm across. And just take a few breaths into this opening. Good. And then take that same arm and we're going to draw it back. Good. So breathing into that spot where you feel the most amount of stretch. Use the exhales to release tension. Let go. And either staying in this position or if you'd like to take that left hand, reach it behind you, clasping the hands together. Good. So just all the way back. One more deep breath on this side. And begin to release. Just wiggle it out. And just Pause for a moment, you can close your eyes. And just notice the difference between the right side and the left side. Just noticing any sensations, anything. And then you can open your eyes again. We'll take the same sequence on the left side. So drawing that left arm over, relaxing that shoulder. Notice if, if you're tensing it up, let it go. Good. And then take the same arm, draw it back. Breathe. And either staying in this position, or if you'd like to take that hand, bringing it behind you, clasping the fingertips together. Good, one more deep breath. And as you're ready, release that side. Shake it out. <coughs> Bring your feet a little wider than hip width apart. Make sure you have enough space around you. We're gonna come up into the helicopter. So make sure you have enough wingspan. 
So keep the knees slightly bent. And we're just going to let the arms flop. You can turn to look out over each shoulder. Good. And then to build the energy or the prana, we're going to start to add the breath to this. So we're going to inhale through the nose at center, and then we're going to exhale to each side with the ha breath. So as you're ready, ha, 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 ha. Ha, 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 ha. Turn the corners of your mouth up just slightly. Notice how that can change the energy level. Ha, 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 ha. Ha, good. Start to release the breath. Slowly start to release the arms, finding your way back to center. Good. And then just pausing at center, noticing how the body feels now. Notice where the mind is. Noticing any sensations here. Good. Start to deepen the breath, coming back to your Durga breath. We're going to inhale into eagle arm. So inhale the arms out to the side. Cross the right arm underneath the left, and it's helpful if you get that top arm over a little farther. And then bend at the elbows, palms away from each other. Draw the right fingertips towards you and see if you can clasp the palms together. Good. So even if the hands don't come all the way together, maybe you can even grab a finger or even just stay in this position. The idea is that you're going to feel this stretch between the shoulder blades. Okay, so from here, we're going to inhale the hands up towards the ceiling and exhale them down. Good. So inhaling up, exhale down. And then a few times side to side, trying to keep the torso straight, just moving from the elbows. And start to explore circles, so circling the elbows in one direction. Coordinating the breath with the movement. And inhaling as you come up and around. Exhaling as you come down. And reverse the direction of your circles. And finding your way back to center. And keep the hands about the height of the forehead. Take a breath in, and as you exhale, we're going to bend the knees deeply, drawing the elbows towards the knees. Take a deep breath in, and then as you exhale, release the fingertips towards the ground. They're probably not going to touch, but just start to release it. And then release the head. So the chin is tucked in towards the chest. And breathe. Nice deep breaths into this opening between the shoulder blades. And then to release from this, we're going to draw the hands towards the forehead, bend the knees a little deeper, and very slowly press through the bottoms of the feet. Let that press lift you back to standing. Anytime the head is below the heart, you want to move nice and slowly. Once you reach standing, you can start to release the arms and just shake it out. Good. Let's all take a deep breath in and exhale it away with a sigh. <sighs> Beautiful. Sighs are a great way to release tension in the body. So even if you have two seconds before your performance and you need to just like let it out, take a big sigh. <sighs> let it go. Good. Let's balance you out. Inhale the arms up. Exhale. Draw the left arm under, right hand above. Really draw that right elbow across a little further. Bend at the elbows. Palms away from each other. And then draw the left fingertips towards you and clasp the palms together. And we'll try the same sequence. Inhale, reaching the arms up. Exhale, draw the elbows down. Inhaling up. Exhale, down. And then from side to side. Good. Then start to make circles with your elbows. So 
and breathing into sensation. Allowing the exhales to release and let go. Circle in the opposite direction. And finding your way back to center. Take a breath in here. Bend the knees deeply as you bend forward. Elbows to the knees. Take a deep breath here. As you exhale, draw the fingertips towards the ground and release the head. Take a deep breath in between the shoulder blades. Now is an opportunity to really let that head go. Just relax it. You might even want to sway it gently from side to side. And then to release, bend the knees a little deeper, really press through the bottoms of the feet. Let that press lift you all the way back to standing. Good. Once you reach standing, release those arms. And just wiggle it out, shake it out, do whatever you need to. What's the reaction of the prana here after you've been twisted so much? Just let it go. What does the body want? And honor that. Good. So another breath that's really helpful to, to build energy in the body is the conductor breath. And it's also a great way to release tension in the, in the upper neck and shoulders. So to do this one, we're going to bring the feet a little wider than hip width apart. And again, make sure you have enough space beside you. You might have to stagger with your neighbor. And this one's gonna be done with three inhales through the nose, one deep exhale um, with a belly breath, with the ha breath. So make that ha be nice and loud, letting go of any tension, releasing that. And make the inhales um, so that they're nice and lively, sipping in all that energy that you're going to need for your performance. So here we go, inhaling the arms up. Inhale them out to the side. Straight up. And exhale. Ha, swing through. Let that swing bring you up, out to the side, up. And exhale. Ha, here we go. All the way up, out, up, and ha. Ha, good. And don't worry if your arms swing in another direction. Ha, just move. Here we go. Ha, a little faster. Ha. Ha, turn the corners of your mouth up just slightly. Ha, because we're having fun now. Ha, good. Ha, two more. Ha. Ha, good, and then just come back up and pause. Good, take a deep breath in, exhale it away with a sigh. <sighs> Beautiful. So just pause here for a moment, noticing how the upper body feels. Now we're gonna start to do some um, exercises for the legs to make them nice and strong. Our mountain position here is the most, um, it's a position that's the most fundamental position out of, out of everything. So in mountain, we have a nice, beautiful, straight, tall spine to allow all of the energy to flow through us. Um, great. So everybody, try to slouch. Just kind of like, notice how you feel. Right? Now, come back to your mountain. You're pressing through the bottoms of the feet. You're elongating through the spine. Good. Connect back with your breath now. Good. So you feel that energy moving through the feet, through the crown of the head. Everything's flowing nice and easy. So when we go through our warrior sequences for the legs, we're going to keep this posture in mind as we move. So come to the front part of your space, taking a deep breath in. I'm going to have to move this here. Good. So finding Tadasana. Feet hip width apart, toes pointing parallel. Keep a slight bend in the knees, tuck the tailbone slightly. Relax the shoulder blades back and down, lift from the crown of the head. Bring your hands to the side of the hips. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, we're going to step straight back with that right leg. So make sure you're stepping hip width apart. Step back with the toes. And it is a little bit of a balancing posture, so see if you can find your stance. Make sure that the hips are pointing directly to the front of the room. Press through that back heel. 
Good. You can either keep the arms here, or if you'd like, inhale the arms all the way up to the warrior position, drawing the shoulder blades back and down. Spread the fingertips nice and wide. So energize the posture, reaching through those fingertips. Good. Connect with your deep breath here. So warrior postures are good to help you stand your ground. Okay, and you can be happy warriors. Again, turning the corners of the mouth up just slightly. Beautiful. So strengthening those legs, really press through that back heel and sink down a little further if you can. Beautiful, excellent. Take a deep breath here, and then we're gonna bend forward coming into the flying Superman. So hands reach all the way back, palms towards the ground, draw the shoulder blades back and down towards each other, and then inhale, swing the arms up. Coming back to center and releasing. Good, take a deep breath in, exhale it away. Good, good. One more time. Take hand to the side, back to mountain. Take a deep breath in, and then exhale the left leg all the way back, stepping straight back. Good, press through that back heel, sink down. Okay, making sure the knee and ankle are in alignment here. You always wanna protect the joints, so stacking the joints on top of each other. Beautiful, either keeping the hands here, or if you'd like, to inhale the hands all the way up to warrior one. Relax the shoulder blades back and down. Palms spread nice and wide and breathe. You can also look about a 45 degree angle towards the ceiling, opening up a little bit more. Good, keep breathing. Take a deep breath here and then exhale, come into the flying Superman. Chest towards the thigh, reach the fingertips back and inhale, swing the arms up. Let that press you back into your mountain and exhale it away. Take a deep breath in. Good, so working with the legs. This time, let's actually turn to face the side wall and we're gonna take a nice big step out. Good. Let's point the left toes towards the front of the room and the right toes point in about a 45 degree angle. And then tilt the hips so that they're facing the front of the room. Okay. Inhale, and as you exhale, bend the front knee. So coming into another variation of warrior with the legs, really press through that back foot. Inhale the arms up. Shoulders release back and down. Energize your posture by spreading the fingertips nice and wide. Imagining you're gathering all the energy that you're gonna need for your, for your performance here. Breathe into that. Take a deep breath here, and then we're gonna to exhale to warrior two. Right hand comes back, left hand comes forward. Good. Keeping the tailbone tucked just slightly. Turn the palms to the ceiling. That opens up the whole chest area. And then rotate the palms down. Good, see if you can sink down just a little bit more. Again, making sure the knee and ankle are aligned. Beautiful, the gaze or the drishti should be at your front middle finger. That's it, bend the front elbow. Reach the right arm up and over. Palm faces towards the floor. Sink the hips down a little bit more if you can. And breathe, you can either gaze down at the foot, straight out to the side, or all the way up to the fingers. And then inhale, reverse warrior, lift all the way up. Keep the front knee bent, palm reaches to the back. Looking towards the hand if you can, if that's comfortable for the neck, otherwise look straight ahead. Take a deep breath here, back to warrior two. Looking forward, and then we're gonna release the front leg, release the arms, point the toes towards the side, and then bend the leg and shake it up. Take a deep breath in, exhale it away with a sigh one more time. <sighs> Beautiful, okay, we're halfway there. Let's try the other side, step out again. This time, rotate the right toes to the back and left toes in, then shift the hips so that they're facing towards the back wall. Good, take a deep breath in as you bend the front knee, coming into warrior one, you can inhale the arms all the way up, reaching to the ceiling, draw the shoulder blades back and down. Really press through that back foot. So 
So warrior postures are good to help stand your ground. Nice and strong here. Take a deep breath in, exhale to warrior two. Right hand comes front, left hand reaches behind. Open the chest by drawing the hands towards the ceiling and then rotate them down. Good, see if you can sink into that leg a little bit more. Make sure the right knee is tracking directly over the ankle. It tends to want to cave in, but press it back. Good, inhale and then exhale. Bend the front elbow, reaching up and over with the left hand. Either gazing at the floor, straight out to the side, or all the way up towards the ceiling and breathe. See if you can sink those hips a little further. That's it, beautiful. Take a deep breath in as you come all the way into the reversed warrior. Left hand slides back, right fingertips reach up to the ceiling, and then again, sink into that front knee. Keep it bent, keep lifting. Take a deep breath here, and then as you exhale, come back to your warrior two, and then straighten the front leg, release the arms, point the toes to the side, and then step back. Good, and you can turn to face the front of the room. Deep breath in, exhale away with a sigh, let it go. <sighs> Excellent. This time, place your feet a little wider than hip width apart. Toes can point parallel. Inhale the arms straight in front of you and exhale into the yoga mudra arms. So you're gonna clasp your hands behind your back, draw the hands towards the floor. You lengthen through the crown of the head. And we're just gonna take a few breaths in this position. So as you inhale, draw the hands up towards the ceiling and then exhale, release the hands back towards the floor. So inhaling up, exhaling back down. Good, so feel the length through the crown of the head. This time, take a deep breath in, and as you exhale, we're gonna bend forward, coming into a forward bend. You can either come halfway or come all the way, so the crown of the head is reaching towards the ground. Relax the head, neck, and shoulders again. We're gonna pause here for a few deep breaths. So if you need to release sooner than I lead you out, just come up very slowly by bending the knees. Otherwise, stay here. You can make micro movements with the arms. Maybe side to side. Maybe make circles with the neck. Just loosening up this area a little bit more. And then to release from the stretch, bend the knees a little bit more. Let that press through the bottom of the feet, lift you up very slowly. Press, press, press. Come all the way up. Once you reach the top, then just release the hands. Good. Notice how the upper body feels. <laughs> Good. One more exhale. Let it go. <sighs> Beautiful. We're going to try what's called alternate nostril breathing or the Nadi Shodhana breath. So to do this breath, just make sure you're in a nice elongated posture here, coming back to our mountain pose. So feet hip width apart, lift and spread the toes. Slight bend of the knees, slight tuck to the tailbone, release the shoulders back and down, lifting from the crown of the head. <coughs> Let's connect with our deep Durga breath. And the Nadi Shodhana breath, or the alternate nostril breathing, is really good for performance. If you're feeling very anxious, it's a really nice way to cal calm the mind, calm the body. So if you take your first two fingers and rest it between the third eye point, that's the point between the eyebrows and just slightly up. And we're gonna use the thumb and the ring finger to alternate the nostrils as we do this breath. So take a deep breath in to begin. And then just exhale, let it go. Close the right nostril, take a deep breath in through the left side. Close the left and exhale through the right. Inhale right. Close, exhale left. Inhale left. Close, exhale right. Just continuing with this breath, inhaling one side, closing and then exhaling the other side. Inhaling that same side close and exhale right. Just going back and forth, slowing down the breath a little bit each time. And 
Inhaling one side, closing, exhale to the other. And the next time that you exhale through the left side, begin to release the hand, and coming back to your normal breath. And just pausing here for a moment, noticing how you feel. Good. So alternate nostril breathing can be very uh, calming, very relaxing. It also balances out the left and right hemispheres of the brain. It's a good one. <laughs> so let's try a balancing posture. Balancing postures are also um, are really good to practice for focus and concentration. So I call this one the, the flying Superman um, balancing posture. It's really called warrior three, I believe, but <laughs> um, this one's, you're gonna step to the back of the mat. Good. So come in into your mountain. Bring your hands so that they're facing towards the front of the room. So you're really drawing the shoulder blades back and down. And when you come into this posture, you're going to want to feel that you're really lifting through the whole front of the body. Okay? So from here, take a deep breath in. As you exhale, you're going to step the right leg forward. So step on the heel first, and then spread the whole foot out to start to bring the weight into that right leg. Let's turn the corners of the, or turn the toes under in the left foot. Good, just stretching out the top of the foot. Now, find your focal point or drishti, about eye level straight in front of you. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, we're gonna start to lift the back foot off the ground. Reaching through the crown of the head, the drishti goes down towards the floor. You're elongating through the crown. You're keeping a slight bend in the knee of the right foot. Reach to the toes. You can actually spread the toes, spread the fingers nice and wide to energize your posture. Draw those shoulder blades towards each other. Feel the lift from the front of the body. See if you can lift that back leg a little higher. Breathe a little deeper. Good. And then as you're ready, we're going to release nice and slowly, following that drishti. Coming back and then stepping back. Good. Let's take a deep breath in. Exhale that side away. Ah. <laughs> Good. So in balancing postures, um, you're really focusing, you're really concentrating. Some days are going to be easier than others, so just be mindful of that. And, and I always say, don't let the judges um, be in your practice. Let them be out. Just be with your experience. Okay. So if it is a windy day, just go with the wind. <laughs> That's okay. All right, so we'll try the same thing on the other side. So find your mountain, palms face forward. Really feel the lift through the front of the body. Take a deep breath in, and as you exhale, draw the left foot forward. So come to the heel first. Spread the entire foot out, shifting your weight to that foot. Turn the back toes under. Good. Give a little weight to that, stretching the top of the foot out. Find your deep breath here. Find your focal point, and then as you're ready, start to lift that back leg off the ground, following the gaze down the wall, to the floor, to a few feet in front of you. So reach to the toes, spread the fingers. You can spread the toes or point through the toes, whatever feels more comfortable. Elongate through the crown of the head. Breathe. See if you can lift that back foot a little higher. Keep a slight micro bend to the left knee. Good. Take a deep breath in. And as you're ready, start to release, drawing that foot back. Gaze goes back up towards the wall. Step back and exhale it away with a sigh. <sighs> Good. Excellent. All right. Any other favorite postures? <laughs> Now's your chance. You want to do the full eagle? <laughs> okay, another good. <laughs> um, Another good balancing posture, we already did the eagle arms. So let's try the full eagle posture. You guys like the balancing ones, right? <laughs> okay. So find your Tadasana. 
your mountain pose. Really root through the bottoms of the feet. Elongate, lift from the crown of the head. Feel that line of energy moving through the entire body. Good. Find your drishti or your focal point. As you're ready, inhale the arms out to the side, right arm underneath the left, crossing at the elbows. Bending, clasping the hands together. Take a deep breath in. And then exhale, bring it down. Take a deep breath in. And then exhale, we're gonna sit back like you're sitting on a chair. If you bend your knees, it's a little easier. If you bend them a little further, take your right leg, and we're gonna cross it over the left. So either, <laughs> there we go. So crossing it over to the left, either use those toes if you need a little bit more support, or foot can be off to the side, or you can tuck the foot behind. And you're gonna squeeze the arms together, and you're gonna squeeze the legs together. Remember your focal point or your drishti. Squeezing, squeezing. The more you squeeze, the more you can release when you let go. So trying to align the knees and the elbows. Good. Deep breathing. As you're ready, begin to release. Release the legs, coming up, and release the arms. Let it go with a sigh. <sighs> Good. And just pause here and notice the difference between the right side and the left side. We'll balance you out. Inhale the arms up. This time left under right. Crossing, clasping the hands. Take a deep breath in, reach the fingertips up. And exhale back down. Take a deep breath in. And then as you're ready, start to sit back like you were sitting on a chair. You're gonna take that left leg, cross it over. Either use the toes for support out to the side, or see if you can tuck those toes behind. Squeeze the arms, squeeze the legs, and continue to breathe. Remember, if you fall out, it's okay. Just come back, maybe to a different variation. So squeezing, squeezing, squeezing. See if you can actually relax the grip of the toes. Where can you loosen and where can you squeeze? Good, take one more deep breath here. As you're ready, release, and arms. Wiggle it out, take a deep breath in, exhale it away. <sighs> Beautiful, good. Okay, any other favorite postures? The chi, you, you guys really wanna do the balancing, this is great, okay. <laughs> you wanna do the tree? Okay, another balancing pose. <laughs> so, coming into your mountain, we're going to actually shift the weight to the left foot, making that our strong leg. Keep a slight micro bend. And then with the right foot, you can either rest it on the side. This is actually called the bush. And you can bring your hands in front into prayer position. Good. Now, if you're okay with this and this feels comfortable, and you're ready to move to the next level. As long as your breath is flowing freely, then I would invite you to bring your foot to the side of the calf. Try to draw that knee back and breathe. If this is okay, then you can try the next level, bringing that foot into the inner thigh. And if you really press that foot and the inner thigh towards each other, that'll actually help. So press, 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 press the hands. Find your focal point or drishti and breathe. So where can you relax? Notice where you're holding tension. See if you can breathe through it. As challenges arise, notice what happens to the breath. It usually is the first to go. So it's important to try to bring our attention back to the breath each time. Continue to draw that knee back. Continue to press. So you can have that foot rest anywhere except for on the knee itself. And then when you're ready to release from the posture, release nice and gradually. Release the hands. And take a deep breath in, exhale it away. <sighs> Good, and we'll try the other side. So pressing through both feet, start to shift 
the weight to the right leg, making that our strong leg. Slight micro bend to the knee to protect the knee. Foot can rest on the side, drawing that knee back, hands in prayer position. Good. And you can try another variation, either on the calf or you can bring it all the way up. Good. And then you can grow your branches. So <laughs> you can grow your branches in any way. Arms up to the side, up into temple position. Or make your own variation of the tree. And let the winds come. <laughs> so you can play with your tree. Good. So there are many different trees in the forest, so you can be your own unique tree. Just keep the breath flowing. Good. And as you're ready, you can bring the hands back into prayer position. And release the foot. Let it go. One more exhale. Let it go with a sigh. <sighs> so even um, some, of, some of these things, too, like if you're in, you know, in the green room and you are... Um, One thing that you want to want to try to do is if, say you you aren't standing and you have a seat that you want to um, practice this on. So if I find a seat, you want to make sure that you're seated, just like you were in a mountain pose. You want to be nice and elongated. So you want you don't want to hang out way in the back or slump. You want to come forward, bring your feet hip width apart feet flat on the floor. This is the most grounding posture, just like when you're doing the standing postures. You relax the shoulder blades back and down, and you can just rest the palms, either palms down or palms facing up. So if you want more energy, place the palms up. If you want to feel more grounded, keep the palms facing down. So you can try a meditation before you go on stage. You can close the eyes, bring your attention to the breath, if there's a lot of tension, just exhale it away with a sigh. <sighs> and just really feel that you're sinking down. You're pressing through the bottoms of the feet. You're feeling the support of the chair beneath you. At the same time, you're lengthening through the crown of the head. You're relaxing the shoulder blades back and down. And then you just connect with your deep three-part Durga breath. You're thinking about the expansion in the belly, rib cage, all the way up to the collarbone. So that can be actually very, very um, grounding, rooting, and relaxing. You can actually do a, a, a shavasana, a relaxation pose um, in a chair too. Okay. All right. So I think we've covered most of the things we want to cover. So you guys want to relax now? Okay. <laughs> Come down to the ground. <laughs> All right, so bring your feet a little wider than hip width apart. You can allow the, the legs to be straight. So we're going to come into our final relaxation. <laughs> you can draw the toes towards each other and flap them away back and forth just to release the legs. And then just let the toes flap out to the side. Bring your hands about a 45 degree angle away from the body. Drawing the shoulder blades back and down will help open up the palms to the ceiling. So Shavasana is a receptive pose. Now is the time to fully release, relax, and let go, allowing all the movements, all the postures that we've done thus far to integrate into the body and the mind and the spirit. Let's all take one more deep breath in. Exhale with a sigh. Let it go. <sighs> so begin to feel the whole body now release into the support of the ground beneath you. Relaxing the muscles of the feet, the tops and the bottoms of the feet, the toes and the ankles. Relax the shins and the calves, the muscles around the knees, the thighs and the hamstrings. Release the hips and the buttocks. And feel the whole lower body release into the support of the ground beneath you. Soften the belly. Relax the low back mid-back, soften the chest, release the upper back and shoulders. 
Allow the arms to become heavy. Relaxing the upper arm, the elbows, lower arm, wrist, top of the hand, back of the hand, and fingertips. Relax the muscles of the throat. Release the jaw and soften the tongue. Relax all the little muscles around the eyes, the temples, and the forehead. And just take the next few moments in silence to completely release, relax, and let go. Realizing in these moments there is nowhere to go and nothing to do but relax. Allowing all the sounds around you to float further and further away. And bringing your attention back to the breath. Begin to deepen the breath, inhaling into the belly. And wiggling your fingers and toes. Rotating your wrists and your ankles. Your arms and your legs. And drawing the fingertips, the hands overhead, giving a nice stretch to the body. And the fingertips to the toes. And as you're ready, drawing the knees into the chest, curling yourself up into a ball. And rolling over to your right side, lying in a fetal position on this side, feeling the support of the ground beneath you. And keeping the soft internal focus that you've created with the least amount of effort as possible, finding your way back to a seated position, pressing the top hand into the ground, allowing the torso to rotate around the legs and using the other hand for support to lift you up. And connect the sits bones with the ground beneath you. Elongate through the spine, lifting through the crown of the head. And connect with a soft breath here. And we're going to end our practice together with three rounds of OM, the universal sound produced ah, oh, mm, and really feel the vibration of sound through the body. Taking a deep breath in to begin. Bringing your hands in front of heart center into prayer position, allowing the chin to rest towards the chest, bowing to your internal self, and giving thanks to your body, your body that works so hard for you every day. And finding something else in your life that you're thankful for and offering that as a sense of gratitude and appreciation for what you have. And then as you're ready, inhaling the head back to center and gradually opening your eyes. Namaste. Thank you all for joining me today and participating. Thank you.